That's 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 as high as it goes. I think that possibly Steve Woods, best friend of Dominic. We also remember Joseph Talley, Joseph Talley, 
friends of Eric. Each have passed on, but are remembered today and never will be forgotten. There are a few who simply could not make the journey. But they are here, not here physically. The love they share knows not the distance between us today. Nikki and Tudor Stanuko in Canada, Chris Baldwin and family, Juan Garcia and family, Jason LaRussa and family in California, and Larry Horn who is in Afghanistan. As we gather to celebrate the love of Dominic and Erica, we must most first recall that someone showed them how to love. They were cared for as children and showed the way of nurturing, caring, and unconditional love. Of course, that first love is that of their parents. Our parents play a critical role in teaching us what it means to love, what it means to stand beside or behind someone, and what it means to be there no matter what. So I now have the honor and privilege to present Linda Fitzwater, Judy Peralto, and Jack Silva. Erica and Dominic thank their parents and love them more than any words could ever describe. talk about love. What is love? When you hear the words, I love you, what runs through your mind? Do you say it because you have to, or does it carry a much deeper meaning? Do you get the feeling down deep inside that's a cross between butterflies and intoxication? <laughs> the truth is, I can't stand here and tell you what love is. However, I can show you through my actions and my words I can help you see what love means to me, and then as the years go by, you can show us what love means to you. I did, however, try to find a definition today, so I googled, what is love? It took me to Webster's online dictionary, and let me say there's about 10 different, de 10 different definitions between noun and verb. Two of my favorites are, an unselfish, loyal, and benevolent concern for the good of another, and a tennis score of zero. <laughs> to make this marriage work, it will, however, take more than just love. It will take commitment, devotion, caring, concern, understanding, and yes, even an occasional argument. My advice to you is to fight like hell once in a while, whether you need it or not. But never go to bed angry, never leave home if the fight carries on, and take turns sleeping on the couch. It won't wear out that fast then. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you decide you're still a little upset, go join the other one out there. Be sure that you never fight with more compassion than you're prepared to love and never argue unless you're prepared to be proven wrong. Ogden Nash wrote, to keep your marriage brimming with love from the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. Dominic and Erica. This celebration is but one, one of many to come. It is the public affirmation of the most sacred and inward bonds that you share. All those among us may voice this bond, the state may make it legal, and your words make it known. It is a bond which none may break or annul. This is a union which is created by love, nurtured by your affection, and kept by your own free will. It is for this reason and purpose that you stand before us today to be joined in the sacred bonds of marriage. Another scripture reading for you guys is from Colossians 3, 12 through 14. Put on therefore as God chooses, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, lowliness, humility, and perseverance. Bearing with one another and forgiving each other. If any man has a complaint against them, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. Above all these things, walk in love, which is the bond of perfection. Who has the ring?
<laughs> You're fine. These rings have been chosen by Dominic and Erica to symbolize their union, to wear from this day until eternity, to give a physical and outward showing of the love they have for one another. I ask now that we bow our heads and join in blessing these rings together so that as they wear them, they may also carry our love and support. Father above, please watch over Dominic and Erica. Guide them with your light. Bestow upon them your blessings as those among us have done. These rings are like your love, Father. They have no beginning and have no end. We pray that your blessings rain down upon them now and forever. Amen. George Bernard Shaw once said, the single biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it has taken place. So we're going to practice a little bit of that right now. Dominic and Erica, as you dedicate yourselves to one another, we are mindful of the love around us, represented by our family and friends. stand beside you in times of joy and sorrow to stand beside you in times of joy and sorrow through all things which come our way to all things which come our way I promise to fill our home I promise to fill our home with love and understanding with love and understanding I promise to grow and change with you I promise to grow and change with you to go to grow stronger through your love as the years go by to grow stronger with your love as the years go by I promise from this day forward I promise from this day forward that I will be your husband. That I will be your husband. To walk beside you. To walk beside you through all your troubles. It's a little bit. Patchy wedding blessing for everyone. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, 
for each of you will be the warmth to the other. <laughs> really? <laughs> that must be nice. <laughs> now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be the companion to the other. Although there are two bodies, but there is but one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into your days of togetherness, as may your days be good and long upon the earth. Dominic and Erica, always remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect. Always be mindful of what brought you together. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship as they threaten them all from one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not just the part that seems wrong. If each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, your life your life together will be filled with abundance and delight. <laughs> Dominic and Erica, in so much as you have stood before your family and friends to be joined in the bonds of wedlock, having affirmed your vows before them, and by exchanging the rings which you both now wear, brings me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I don't call you back. Friends, loved ones, I now present to you Miss Erica and Mr. Dominic Silva. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Don't get warm. Don't right. run too fast. Oh, I'm gonna trip over this one. I will find it. Ow. 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 Ow